This is the Liberia National Television and the Broadcasting House ELBC Radio. And we are privileged to have with us here today a guest from Hong Kong. He is Reverend Timothy Yip from the Global Fire International Mission Ministries. And he's here as guest of the World Liberation Ministry International. As you can see, Bishop Innocent is sitting right here. He's the bishop of that particular ministry. We say welcome to Liberia and welcome to the Liberia National Television. Thank you. Bishop Innocent, we begin with you. You just brought in a guest here in Liberia. Can you just give us a little story of how this guest happened to be here today? By God's grace, um, that is the work of the Holy Spirit, bringing people of the same manner and the same spirit together. And by the way of communication, God made it possible for us to get in contact with him. When I asked him to come to Liberia, because at this time, Liberia ran into a new government. And we need everything to be new in this country. We need to see how transformation will enter into the life of people, the church, and the entire public. We cannot continue living old life. And he said, oh, I will, I will be there. I will try. And that's how we begin. And today, it's a reality that is here to bless Liberia. And the government of Liberia. Thank you. Okay, we go to Revin Yeb. This is your first time coming to Liberia. Yes. And I guess West Africa as a whole. Yes. You have not come to this part of the world before. No. Okay, um, you are here to impart some knowledge in Liberians mm -hmm. how to manage finances, how to manage their marital affairs, and you have a lot of trainings that you have brought. Can you just tell us how did it come to you? Well, it all came, it started in 1998. At that time, I've been a pastor for 15 years. And then I went to a meeting, uh, and there was an evangelist, Carlos Anacondia from Argentina, uh, from South America. He came to, to the meeting, and he laid hand on people. And I saw that I rushed to the front. And the moment he touched me, I felt power like electricity enter me. And I felt great love fill my heart so strong, I cried for a long time and I said I never knew I can experience God like that. And that moment changed my spiritual life. And I spent a lot of time praying and loving God and then experiencing more and more His love, His power. Anytime now I think of Jesus, the joy will flow through me and I can feel power go through my whole body. And I pray for people and many people experience great change in their life. So, how do you really see the response of Christian to these godly activities? Do people really accept Christ from their heart or they just proclaim to be Christians? Well, after that, actually my whole life changed because I myself, in the past, I had not taken care of every sin in my life. I have different ways that, you know, I, I, I fell into sin in some way and I think, well, it's normal. But after that, the Holy Spirit really show me my sins and I take care of my sins. And then I saw that when I pray for people, people experience change in life. And I started to dedicate my life to God more. And now before I did dedicate my life to God, but now much more. But in the past, I was not as zealous. And then I noticed many Christians, they, many are lukewarm. Their life can be greatly used by God, but they haven't been used by God greatly. So I'm, I was disappointed and I said, God, you can use them, you can bless them. So I have the heart to go to different countries, first in Hong Kong and also in a neighboring country there, and then go to different countries uh, to, uh, uh, mainly what I do is train Christians and to revive the spiritual life and train them to serve God, and mainly to serve, pa to help pastors and, and dedicated Christians. So from your own experience, from what you have been doing over the years, how has your teaching really helped those that you visited? Well, even pastors told me that. After they heard the teaching, they see, wow, it's so easy to have a close relationship with God. Because in the past they said, God is so far away. It's like when they pray, they didn't experience God, they didn't experience the help, but now they can experience His power and love and zeal, and they are more motivated to serve God. And then also, they said, 
my relationship with my wife is better. I'm willing to listen because I have training on counseling also. And uh, they listen to the wife and they uh, relate to the wife and the relationship is much more. And then they see how they can train Christians, raise them up to serve God. So different pastors have responded and shared the testimonies on my YouTube, Pastor Yip. Uh, there are many videos there. Let's come back to Bishop Innocent. This event will be hosted at your church. Where is the church located and how do you really intend gathering people to this particular event? Uh, the church is located at um, Gunnersville, opposite a small St. Michael, opposite uh, St. Anthony Catholic Church, World Liberation Ministries International. And we have made some advertisements, printed posters, banners, also, we have been in announcement with this uh, radio station, Love FM and um, Vision FM. They have been announcing about his coming. And I know by tomorrow, the training will start by 8 o'clock. God will prove his name and he will draw people unto himself. Because I really want to save so many people. There's somebody listening to you or watching you right now on television may want to wonder why would it take somebody to attend that particular training session? It just it doesn't take you money, it doesn't cost you anything than making up your mind. Decide to get up from your bed, from your house, 7 o'clock, 7 30, people will queue up, start registering their names to know particular areas and zones they are coming from. Um, We'll be serving people free food after every day. We have these seven days, morning and evening. Morning starting from 8 o'clock to 12.30. We close by 5. We start again two hours. You'll be teaching in particular because, for instance, when you talk about marriage management, people find it difficult to understand the institution about marriage between God and man. And this is an interesting institution that people are joking over marriages today and that is why so many marriages are falling apart because God is not in it. When somebody enters into a vocational system of marriage as a relationship made by God, it's very interesting. But today, people are suffering and suffocating into marriage. So I believe by the inspiration of God, they will come to learn. Many divorces, after this teaching, they will never divorce anymore because teach the word, and when the people hear the word, they will change. That transformation will surely come. And also, managing finances. You find out that here, you know, the management of finances is too, too backward. We see money today, we finish it thinking about another one next tomorrow. It doesn't come in that way. Money has its own spirit. But when you are able to manage money, be able to manage your family, you conduct yourself as a man, as a woman. You'll be able to know that God's relationship, nothing to compare with it. And based on his teaching all over the world, in fact, it's something that made me to got very interesting that Reverend Yip, you surely come to Liberia so that uh, there will be an impartation to our lives. Okay, Reverend Yip, we'll come back to you. Uh, you have been doing this for so many years now around the world. What is the benefit of getting closer to God? The benefit I experienced myself, and the Bible is promised, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. And I myself experienced great help. First, I'm 66 years old, but I can read small letters without eyeglasses. I you know, God gives me health and strength. I play tennis and I can travel and I experience miracles all the time. I, and God gave me a wonderful wife here. Yeah. That really, she's very loving and very wise. So everything I have is, you know, it's really perfect for me. And also, God provides for me that I can go to different countries. So before your calling, what were you into? Well, actually, I've been a pastor for years, since 1983. Okay. But what happened was, I you know, I just said, well, being a pastor, I preach, I teach Sunday school, I visit, I help the people, but what else to do? And, you know, I thought, you know, just keeping the church. 
But now I see that it's not just keeping the church. It's that I can raise up people's spiritual life, and I can train people, and there are many pastors and many Christians who want to go higher in the spiritual life. And some of these people saw my videos online, and they asked me for help. I receive phone calls all the time, and people ask me for help. And then, and then the experience changed in their life too. So I, I see that God is using me. I, it very make my life very fulfilled. So do you really enjoy going around the world and then providing your teachings, that knowledge about Christian living? I enjoy it. I, every time I teach, I'm excited. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. I, and God gives me new teachings all the time. And also when I go to different places and I see people change, I enjoy that. Even though sometimes there is hardship, there's difficulties. Uh, mosquitoes, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I have to... Uh, take the yellow fever injection and to take different precaution and the life is not as easy in some places but that's nothing to me to see people life change that to me is great satisfaction okay finally from your end as we take leave for a few what would be the message that you have brought for Liberians? okay I have a few messages first is always live in the love of God enjoy God's love and when we really love God and obey God and serve God, blessings will come. The first, the second is that God's nature is beautiful. The more we study the Bible, we can see God's beautiful nature is so kind, so wise, so wonderful, so powerful. If we understand Him, then we can enjoy Him more. And God's life for our you know, uh, marriage life and our relationship with people can be so beautiful we can enjoy life like me and my wife enjoy life every day and life is like heaven on earth and also that we manage the whole life uh, as Bishop said the financial life and different you know spiritual life and church life and all this can be managed much better and then Christians can enjoy the spiritual life so in different all different areas and also I train people how to preach with power and how to preach with love and joy and also how to uh, enjoy Christian life. Isha? Yes. Your partner, can we take a look of you? Yeah, my, my segment says that I want to appeal to all Liberians, mm -hmm. our new president, President Judge Mano here, the legislators, Liberia cannot move forward without Christ. When we seek Jesus as personal Lord and Savior, Liberian condition will change. There will be transformation, there will be development. And in our own research in Christian field, we will discover that number of years we, will, we have encountered with a lot of presidents, Liberia have been going backward because most of the presidents we are filled with some spiritual foundations religious wise against God. And when we see in Matthew 6, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all other things. And all other things. You find out that prosperity comes when the fear of God is exhibited. People develop when the fear of God is there. And you can find out that if everybody can open their heart, to welcome this teaching, I believe we have been praying. You know, when I went to consecrate a capital building before the assumption of an, a, a new president office, God revealed a lot of things happening in Liberia, life. And when we are far from God, we suffer. When we are far from God, nothing goes well. I don't care the money we look for, it cannot come up. So which means, Nothing else we can do because when we find out that a president is to give account of his life to God, as well as a president has to give account to the people he governs, as well as legislators, then what do we do? What's the essence of being religious? Let us turn to God and Liberia will turn to a new leaf. And that was my main focus of sending for him to be here so that we have started a new government and let there be a new system of Liberia. And Liberia children will enjoy Liberia 
there will be total transformation. So if you are watching LN TV and listening to ELBC Radio, you just uh, listen to um, Bishop Innocent. He's the Bishop of the World Liberation Ministries International in Gartnersville. And then you also listen to the Reverend Timothy Yip from uh, Hong Kong. He comes from the Global Fire International Mission Ministries. And they have been talking about a seven-day life transformative event taking place at the World Liberation Ministries Headquarters Church in Gartnersville. It is located right on the Tusa Feed Road at Supermarket in Gartnersville. Thank you for speaking with us. Okay.